Welcome to episode 352 of the Shared Security Podcast. And this week, we're talking about how the Internet Archive was hacked, not once, but twice, leaking the data of 33 million users with the threat actors now gaining access to their Zendesk support email system. So we'll talk a bit about this and why why would someone want to hack the Internet Archive of all places, right? And then I have a fascinating story about the privacy of, now wait for this one, your poop. That's right, folks. We've gone right into the gutter with this episode, but a company called Throne has developed a toilet-mounted camera that uses AI to analyze stool and urine to provide health insights. What could possibly go wrong with a camera on your toilet? My question is, why are you pooping in the gutter? Since you said we're going right to the gutter. I, uh, I feel like the gutter is not where you should be pooping, but, but okay. You got to do what you got to do, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, so, I guess. Uh, I guess. So that's a great segue to actually introduce my co-host. <laughs> the great Kevin Johnson. <laughs> uh, I, I, by the way, he is spelling great G-R-A-T-E because I'm just grading. I had to grading. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, everybody assumes you meant G-R-E-A-T. So, I did. Great but... and awesome. But yes. <laughs> well, you do have a great and awesome shirt on today. Thank you. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I love the Robin Hood movie from Disney, the animated Robin. I, oh, let yeah. me rephrase that. I think I cannot think of a single Robin Hood movie I have not enjoyed at some level. Fair. But yeah. <laughs> I see you're continuing to support the cult. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> I No, this was a gift. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. So someone else supported somebody else is supporting the guy. Okay. Uh, yes. I, uh, I, I believe that I bought two shirts from the cult organization and, okay. uh, all of the other shirts I have, which I have more. Yes. I had not realized how many of them I had until oh. recently. To be fair, this is not the LuLaRue cult. That's a different this, cult. That's, yes, this is the uh, <laughs> Roosevelt's, I think is what it said, but they removed all the vowels. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that cult. Um, right. uh, not a sponsor and, no, um, <laughs> no, definitely not, but so the internet very... archive, yeah, what's so going on? Here's yeah. the main question I have about the internet archive, uh, hack is, uh, will the Wayback machine include the compromised version of the website? Wow. <laughs> In the future. I just want to know. I just want to know, will they, did question. they, did they archive the compromised version? And I, I say it as a joke, but it's actually yeah. a, a question. I, now that I've said it out loud, I'm thinking. Does the Internet Archive contain compromised versions of websites? And now, obviously, it would depend on when they scanned it, but I don't know if they take them out. Like That's, from a historical perspective, yeah, that is a version of the app, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, I for the people who don't know, the Internet Archive was was compromised a few times. Um, you know, the site was was compromised. Um, and and they they say like you you said, and and I know that the the attacker. Uh, actually posted, um, you know, uh, we've been launching several highly successful attacks for five long hours. And to this moment, all their systems are completely down. And um, personally, I just want to say, screw you to those attackers. Like, like, I'm sorry, but there are certain targets that you shouldn't be able to, like, I know that they posted this as a brag. I think you put in there that, you know, like they did. this is they hacker did. street cred. That's right? all it is. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that should get you hacker street cred. I think no, that should get makes you an to asshole. realize you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Like, like, what did you hack? I hacked a, I, I kicked a puppy. That's what you did. That, that's you basically a puppy what you did. Yeah. And you kicked a puppy mm -hmm. that, that helps people. Like you, you kicked a service dog, <laughs> right? Like yes. that's what you did. And I don't mean an emotional support animal. I mean, an actual service dog, like, like, like there's a blind person that ran into a wall or got hit by a car because you kicked their service dog. And I can see how offensive that may be to say out loud, but <laughs> I, I just, why, why like you're a jerk. Yeah. I, so you, you compromised a system, you compromised a Zendesk credential. And I, and I do know, like, like, let me be clear. They, they, um, the Internet Archive has been told supposedly multiple times that this this problem existed and they haven't fixed it. Um, and I and I get the whole idea of 
you know, technical debt and it's, you did this bad thing and you shouldn't have done it and you should have fixed your problems. And I'm, I'm glad that all the people that are complaining about the bad stuff that the Internet Archive has done and, and bad stuff is in not doing the right security thing. I'm glad that they're a hundred percent secure and they have no bad security practices on their network. Um, you know, cause you know, the right. Uh, glass houses and all, I think is the, mm-hmm. the phrase that comes to mind. I think a lot of people, I mean, obviously people know the Internet Archive from the Wayback Machine, but yep. there's also like so many other things that the Internet Archive hosts. Like, I mean, everything from like old video games to like old copies of books and like I. It's magazines like, and... there's tons and tons of stuff on the internet archive and it's and it's all free and the not you know being a nonprofit and it's just yeah i mean this is not the way to get street cred yeah this it, i mean obviously at some level they're getting attention i just i i don't know i and i know that i'm an old curmudgeon and and whatever but this this just feels like you couldn't find a better target. I I don't know. Like I look, I hacked them. They're popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I go after a real one. I I don't know. I I like right. I. And no, I'm not encouraging people to hack. You shouldn't be hacking things like this. I just this this one bothers me because I don't understand why. That, that's all. Well, let's move on to uh, more more interesting. Well, not to say the Internet Archive isn't interesting, but I'm fascinated that a new startup has decided that a toilet mounted camera uses AI, by the way, it has to use AI, of course, of course, yeah, to analyze uh, your which which we know that many of the AI solutions are just outsourced people looking at pictures. And so I want to I want to (laughs) see I want to see the mechanical Turk request of, hey, we have a whole bunch of pictures of poop. You want to look at them? Yeah, <laughs> it pays twelve dollars an hour. Come on, <laughs> minimum wage is higher than that now. That's true. That's true. So, That's true. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I, I actually, you know, my understanding, and I'm not judging. Like my opinion is consenting adults, whatever, right? But my understanding is there are a number of people. That number may be one, but there are a number of people who are into that type of kink, and. So maybe Throne can make money on both sides. So it's kind of like the the feet pick uh, thing. <laughs> man, why did you even go there? That's, I, you I, brought up poop article to the podcast. I did, but I was thinking of the healthcare piece. Yeah, but, yeah. I okay. do think it's absolutely hilarious. And I, to me, when I read the articles that you sent over, I, I giggled for a while because I want to have been in the the investor meeting or the board meeting or whatever. <laughs> Where they were like, hey, I know, I know we started this company to do staffing. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. I, 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 like, was, this was a staffing company for right. healthcare. And then all of a sudden they pivoted into Poop. this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, when did you, did you have that idea when you were on the toilet? Like, I know. I, <laughs> I just, I want to have been a fly on the wall of the meeting of the person who proposed this. You know, I know staffing's not doing so well. Uh, or whatever, whatever reason they had to switch to pivot from uh, staffing to an AI driven toilet camera. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that phrase. You did. And we you weren't did. talking about inappropriate, evil people. No. Right. Like, because no. we've had that conversation before, like the privacy concerns and, yes. and things like, you know, um, because that, that's a whole thing. Um, but in this case, it's a healthcare, like, Hey, and, and bluntly that actually, if I had Crohn's or IBI, I know people with both. Yeah. Um, I actually see a legitimate use for it. Yeah. The, like totally. the technology, like I, I could yeah. see that benefiting people, but, um, and I, I, f- I find it funny. Like, do you remember, I think we did it on the podcast, but I know you and I talked about it. Do you remember that the bread company that figured out they could detect cancer? Like it was, oh, it was this company that, that they were taking pictures. The idea was if we get a picture of the bread as it comes off the assembly line, we'll know if the bread's okay. 
right? Like, you know, there's mm-hmm. defects or yeah. did they make the low fright or whatever? And there was this paper that they realized that the technology to detect the shape and stuff of bread could also identify cancerous cells. Oh. Which, which, which when you read the article, it, it yeah. makes perfect sense. It, because cancer cells, it's a picture of, of the shape yeah. and right, whatever. So absolutely, if you're recognizing the shape of something, that technology works. If you train it on a different mm-hmm. set of shapes, right? And that's all this was, was, hey, we were detecting bread. Now we're detecting cancer. Um, that's a pivot that sounds crazy, but not as crazy as we were yeah, staffing. This- and now we're looking for staff infections. Yeah. And um, yes, I... <laughs> I went there. <laughs> wow. I I guess I guess we uh, we've talked about like the concerns of like people putting cameras inside their house, right? They have a camera right. in every room. They have a kid camera in their kids' bedroom. Yep. We yep. talked about like when Ring had that issue, and you know there was creep creepy people like hacking these cameras so they could look at kids. I mean, really, really bad stuff. And yeah. yeah. Like, I guess I get even more concerned now if you have a camera mounted to your toilet, like. We're now talking about real personal. I mean, it's all personal space at the end of the day, but right. like, you know, someone is going to hack this thing. Like, I would well, know it. Like, uh, I, you know, I would like to believe they wouldn't. I'd like to believe that this toilet camera is going to be 100% secure. It'll be run by Oracle. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, but <laughs> that joke will never get old for me. No, but I don't know about anybody else, but for me, that joke will yes. never get old. Yeah, that that brings the question, right? Like, uh, what are you going to do with? Well, and it's not just hacking the camera. Right. Because I've got to assume and I've not looked, I've not gone and pre-ordered my toilet cam, but I've got to assume that the application itself, the web interface, the whatever is going to one, have personal information about me other than a picture of my ass on the toilet. Right. Um, But it's going to have that. I also assume at some level it's going to have integrations with other systems, right? Like yeah. at the very least, <laughs> I would want an integration <laughs> into the Apple Health app yeah, or yeah, the yeah. right. Like, yeah. hey, I want to, I want to record the food I'm mm-hmm. eating because I'm, it's, I feel inappropriate saying this, but like obviously, if I ate corn, <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Like I'm, I. Hey everybody! I'm trying to keep this out of middle school grange, right? Like, I, like it's I, too late. It's I know, too late. I know, but I'm trying not to make inappropriate jokes. But the reality is, what you yeah. eat has a direct. Yes, it does. 100%. Right, and so I've got to assume that the app is either going to ask me to record food or is going to integrate with a diet app or a health app yeah. or whatever. So, forget the pictures of the of the from the toilet. The other data, the other integrations, the other things, I actually, I actually think is a bigger, bigger risk I for this too. organization, right? And yeah. for the users of this app, I, I was just having this conversation with Brittany this weekend. We, we went down to B-Sides Orlando and driving back, we were talking about, there's this conference that I've been asked to speak at and we were discussing what, what, what topic would make sense. Cause obviously, you know, when we, when we do these talks, I know you do the same thing. When we do these talks, we try to make sure that the talk has something relevant for the audience at that conference. And when it's like a, like Queen City Con in Cincinnati that I'm going to next month, um, that's easier because it's a general security audience. The conference yeah. we're talking about, and, and I, I'm not being vague. I just don't remember the name of the conference, but it's, but it, but it really is directly security is not something they're very worried about of their systems, but obviously they are at some level, but it's that third party, that integration, that, that supply chain for the lack of a better term, where are the risks entered from those things? And that is one we don't talk about as much. And I don't mean supply chain stuff. I mean, actually. Hey, because I integrated with this system, I've, I've accepted risk and liability because of the stuff they have. Like, like the poop camera app doesn't have direct access to my medical records, but the integration with Athena uh, for an example, I have no idea if it's going to integrate with that, but now the poop camera app 
has access to medical records indirectly, yeah. where where's the line? And and fewer people think about that. They do. And and that's why, I mean, it, it sounds like they're taking precautions, right? They're anonymizing images, encrypting data. They're they're doing all the, the things. Well, like let's rephrase that. I think it's very important. We need to rephrase that. They say all the right things. Mm, and the reason I the reason I'm I'm calling out that differentiator is this is a pre order item. It I, is pre order, yeah. It, my understanding is it's not even available yet. No. Like as in not. not just you can't. I mean that's the definition of pre order, but it's beyond that. Like they don't have an actual functioning thing they've shown people. Yeah, they have their prototype they've shown for investment. They have the the proposed stuff. You know as well as I do, right? From the time that you propose it to the time you release it, stuff changes. I was going to say shit changes, oh, yeah. but then decided that pun wasn't worthwhile. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know yes. why you did this article on an episode. I'm here. You could have waited for me I, to that's be That's why I picked it, and, Kevin. And I, <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I mean. Oh, God. <laughs> this is awful. This is awful. I still want to know. I still, I'm going to go back to it because I'm stuck on it. The conversation about, hey, staffing's not working so well. What should we do? <laughs> oh, I got I a great idea. Let's take a picture of some poop. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just can't wait to make the uh, YouTube thumbnail for this. Uh, this <laughs> stuff. So I, I mean, let's just go there, too. I, I don't know. I mean, to me, this is I, my question is how close to the fancy heated Japanese toilets is this thing? Ah, right. I mean, I they probably already have cameras for years and those I, things. So. I'm. I'm staying out of that one. The, the bidets? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Well. Oh, man. Well, with that, we'll it, yeah, I think we should wrap up this episode because we've gone as far as we could possibly go. We've been um, wiped. <laughs> yeah, we've been wiped. We can't. This is. Wow. <laughs> it's better to just end it now. So. <laughs> Is that the rear yeah. end? I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It is just the end. You might want so, to mute me. <laughs> yeah, we're muting Kevin now. Goodbye, Kevin. So uh, thanks for listening, everyone. And until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and stay private. Thanks for watching or listening to this episode. Be sure to subscribe wherever you like to listen to podcasts. Follow us on X at Shared Sec. And help support the podcast by joining our Patreon to get ad-free episodes, bonus content, and many more exclusive supporter-only benefits. Visit sharedsecurity.net slash supporter for more details.